is a man comfortable in a variety of roles. So, what kind of field are you in? Field? Yeah, you know, occupation. Can't imagine what kind of employment would lead you to tag along on a job like this. I suppose you could say I work in debt collection. This better work, otherwise we'll certainly look the fools. Trust me. Ah, very well. Mr. Cohen awaits your participation at his performance. So who is this fellow Cohen? Some sort of underworld figure? Worse. He's an artist. An artist who kidnaps children? Well, Cohen's muse is a bit more diverse. I've seen his type. Gets an idea in his head, end a conversation. Don't matter who gets hurt. of the eternal. No. Why do you fail in this fashion? To embarrass me in front of my muse? My muse shall not be mocked. Fitzpatrick! Please! The stick! And who for God's sake! Ah! My muse shall not be mocked! Get them out of here! There shall be no failure on my canvas. <laughs> oh, there's no room in rapture anymore for the artist. DeWitt. Is that right? My. <laughs> this one's a real biscuit. 
Isn't he a biscuit, lady? I need to ask you a few questions. Questions? Yes. Yes. It is the work of man to ask. It is the work of the artist to answer. You've seen this girl, haven't you? We artists see more than most. You are more than you claim to be, little songbird. Are you not? Watch this one, DeWitt. She'll take you where you don't want to go. But I know the child in that photo is important to you. So many children flit, flit, flit away. I know where the girl is. And I will send you to her in exchange. All I ask is a dance. What? I see something in you too. Art strips away artifice. Show me who you are, and I will show you where you need to go. Cold son of a bitch. Mr. DeWitt. What? Dance with me. Come, come, dance! I shudder to think what greater price he might care to extract. Fitzpatrick! Beauty and pain. They can be no more separated than birth and blood. What do you think Cohen's customers do with the children? Do they? Sometimes. But those types lack the capital of people like Ryan and Suchon. That's a blessing. You saw those little sisters? You so sure? But if Suchong had Sally, I'd know it. How? As I tied him to a chair and asked him. So? For 15 hours. I don't know what to make of you, Mr. DeWitt. No, 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 no! Listen, we're not gonna keep- Fitzpatrick! I see suffering in you. I know how to shine a light on your pain. A moth will become a butterfly. Mr. DeWitt! Are you alright? I'm fine. You were dreaming. You kept saying your daughter's name, Sally. She's not my daughter. I thought... Pain and beauty! To an artist, they are parent and child. Cohen? I'm sending you to find your... young one. <laughs> no need to thank me. I'm not so sure you'll like what you find. Look. Fontaine's. Ryan sent the whole thing to the bottom. But it's a prison now. Why would Cohen have sent Sally there? I don't know. Everyone has needs. I merely provide a service for those who have the means to pay. You'll find your little bird in the housewares department. How many people do you suppose Ryan's got locked up in that place? Enough. Fontaine had amassed something near an army. Now they're down there, spliced up and wild. All right, there's a dock up ahead. Takes a cold son of a bitch to do that to a living person. What's that? Burial at sea. You read your residency contract with Ryan Industries? In perpetuity, we're all buried at sea. Don't 
Don't get too comfortable. Keep your eyes open. Seem to be some supplies this way, Mr. Dewitt. It's Booker. What? Just call me Booker. It's all the same to you. Let's leave it at Mr. Dewitt. Never mind. How many catastrophes were launched in the world? Hey, don't point that at me. Look up there.
Skyhook. Skyhook? You mean the air grabber? Kids use them to ride around up on the Numo lines. Air grabber? Huh. Constants and variables. Constants and what? Never mind. Stuck. I want the frosty one. Get me frost. Mr. DeWitt, someone's coming. Come back. I want the frosty one. Yeah. All right, I got the grabber unjammed. Mr. DeWitt, look. Housewares. That's where Cohen said we'd find Sally. The store ran trams between the three buildings. We'll need to avail ourselves of that. Assuming it still works. Optimism, Mr. DeWitt. It helps in situations like this. <laughs> When did you come to Rapture? Oh, it was, uh, geez, I guess around 51? No, 48? That's a rather large gap. Time. Life I had before. Sort of becomes a blur. 49. 49 for sure. Damn. You look a mess, Mr. DeWitt. Just keep your eyes open for splicers. They can do us a whole lot worse. Here, little birdies. Eat it up. Well, it, it's good for you, you know? I've never heard of birds that didn't like seeds. What, what's, what's the matter with you? Do, do you think it's poison? Over there. You see him? Did I lock the door? Did I lock it? Doorway twice. And... I see what you've been. You're heartless. Hey, what's all this talk about cigarettes being bad for your heart? Mr. Duet. Look. Well, there's the tram. That splicer had no problem freezing a path for himself before. I'm sure he'll be happy to do the same for us. I have no doubt you'll prove persuasive. Mr. DeWitt, look. Ice rink. Be good at places any to look for our new friend. Says it's on the top floor. So we go up.
burst pipe. Store sunk a few hundred feet beyond its specifications. More pressure, more burst pipes. Let me see that. Oh, have matters progressed so little? I could turn this with a rake pick. Done. Where'd you learn that? Oh, it's something I picked up a long time ago. What's the matter there? Yeah. Our frozen friend leaves a hell of a trail. in the same boat. I just want a taste of some high-class food. Splicers. I don't think they see us. If you keep quiet, maybe you can get the drop on them. Even the odds. Yeah. Maybe even lay down a trap or two. your ugliest dog simply because it's yours? This? It, it is a brand new huh? This is Ryan, you bastard. Left me here to rot. Sure, I signed the contract. Helped turn Fontaine's into a prison. Ten days, big rush, everything slapped at. Right before the prisoners are brought in. One of your piece of shit turrets. Bam! Both kneecaps. Now I'm likely a cripple locked in a jail, surrounded by maniacs. I haven't even been paid, but I don't care. Just get me out of here! All 
only take it, giving nothing in return. That you were a child means nothing. We are not so entitled as we think. Judging by your appearance, Let go! Papers. Not everything! Take a look at this. Okay. All done. better already.
efficiency greens improve cognitive function. Don't you want to be as brilliant as you can possibly be? Visit Neptune's bounty. Smart for your brain. Smart for your heart.
of my first play, the Herald said, a dead whale has washed up at the Schubert Theater and stinks a little more with each passing night. <laughs> the Tribune called my first opera as having the effect of canceling out all of Mozart's classics in a single caterwaul. And now, critics take me to task for my humanitarian work. If I were not there to find a home for these orphans, would these belly acres take my place? An artist once said, All critics should be assassinated. I just might take him up on that. It used to be such a thrill to hear Ryan speak. Parasite, this. And the exaltation of man, that. Sure, it could all get a bit of a bore. But the old bear sure knew how to enunciate. Seems safe. Nothing beats your first splice. From there, it's all downhill. The frozen frosties, the jockeys who'll hand you a thousand volts as soon as look at you. You sound sympathetic. They wouldn't be the first sons of bitches who found an answer at the bottom of a bottle. But once you see them go all weak at the knees at the sight of a little sister and all her atom, they cut a less sympathetic figure. <laughs> 